Hello, everybody. Hello. R Rhino and Hi. Craig here. Hey. And we are at uh, Disney's Magic Kingdom here at Walt Disney World. And we're Walt here World. for what else other than a corn dog? Uh, well, hot Not dog. Not a corn dog. Hot dog. Casey's Corner, the only place we eat at when we come to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Apparently. You should know but, that by now. Yeah. Well, it's the thing that will really lure us away. So if ever you're looking to lure us away, just pull up in a van with hot dogs and we'll be there. Yeah, and especially for this one because we're here in, uh, we're not not necessarily here and we know, we know there's a fried pickle type concoction dog in there. We yeah. we know there's these loaded, uh, loaded corn dog corn nuggets. Dog nuggets yeah. So I'm excited for those. Yeah, so uh, I guess nothing else to do it, but to do, do it. it and sure. go get it. All right, let's, it. let's get on that mobile order game. Yeah. That grace, style, it's Miss United States. Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh, he went around. We have acquired our food, and first up that uh, we're going to try from, as we said before, we're doing a corn dog selection and a hot dog selection. We're gonna start with our hot dog, the fried pickle hot diggity dog. I am excited. This is the special hot dog for right now. It's an all beef hot dog topped with roasted green and red peppers, shredded cheese, fried pickles, chipotle ranch, and green onions, $11.99, and it comes with your choice of fries for apple slices. And uh, then of course too, for I think it's $13.99, you can get this thing, this monster as a foot long, but we're trying to watch our weight right now. You know, love handles are creeping in bigger and I guess not creeping in, pushing out uh, bigger and bigger. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with the healthy option in terms of this. So let me cut this bad boy in half. Cut that pickle. There's never any classy way to cut a Casey's hot dog in half, but no, it's so much liquid. Uh, when it's dripping off, it reminds me of in Spaceballs when like Pizza the Hut is just dripping and melting and. Really totally gross, but very appealing at the same time, too. I love the different colors in here with all the, the red and green peppers and the yellow cheese and such. It's a beautiful, beautiful hot dog. You're eating it very gracefully, I will say, too. Very gracefully. Compared to how I usually eat these things, yeah. yes, I am. I'm surprised. I've got that line. Mm. I think we finally found... Another winner for a hot dog. Another wiener? It's yeah, an award it. wiener hot dog. It's really good. So, you know, Casey's dogs here are always good. What stuck out to me most, actually, beyond any of, like, the the sauce that was on there and even the fried pickles themselves that should be the star of the show. I mean, they're the, they're the topping. It's the fried pickled dog. Uh, that's actually not what I'm getting the most out of. The, the best flavor for me on here is actually those peppers. Those are really uh, adding a nice crunch to it. And then just actually a little bit of a sweetness to it too I think and then the fried pickle of course adding extra crunch and a little saltiness vinegary taste to it but I wish we would have went for the foot long I'm gonna let you dive in though I am a disgusting sweaty mess right now because I am just uh, so excited and uh, anticipating this food that I just got so excited so sweaty you know as one does I don't, I'm not going to be as graceful as you. There's, this is like sauce central. Okay. The pickle adds a really nice texture to this. And there's something... What is this? Green peppers? That's a green pepper, yeah. Mmm. Nice little crunch from that, too. A hint of spice in here. This is good. This is really good. I don't know if I love it as much as you do, but it's very tasty. And the, like you said, the fried pickles adds an interesting um, texture to it. But I really like the green peppers and then um, whatever the sauce is on this. It must be like a spicy mayo or some sort of chipotle sauce. You might have already said that, but I did, and I already forgot to. 
Oh, it's okay. Well, it's really, really good. I'm a fan of this. I don't know that I could do a foot long of this, though. I think I could have ate a whole one by myself, but I don't know. I wanted to save space. I am most excited for the real star of the show, which is the loaded corn dog nuggets. We got these for $10.99. Uh, they're corn dog nuggets topped with cheese sauce, chili lime seasoning, sliced jalapenos, diced tomatoes, garlic ranch, you're speaking my language here, corn chips, and green onion. And they also look like just a saucy, delicious mess here. Mmm. Mmm. Smell that Frito. It smells like freedom. Oh gosh, this is so... This is definitely the thing you want to eat in the middle of a hot summer day. Cream-based items. Mm. It's exactly as I thought. Delicious. The chili lime seasoning that's on top of this cheese sauce for me really elevates it because I'm not a big, um, not big cheese sauce person, but I'm not getting a ton of the garlic ranch. I mean, I can see it on here. I don't think there was a ton in my bite, but I just, I love, I, anytime someone adds Fritos to things, for me, it really elevates it. Like, I refuse to eat chili without, without my Fritos. Um, my Frito scoops, to be more more specific. I know these are probably off-brand Fritos, but I'm gonna go ahead and take another bite. Mm. I've got a lot more of that garlic ranch that second time. Ooh, like, and the jalapenos are just the right amount of spicy because they're pickled and not fresh. I'll be interested to see what you think of this one. I think you're gonna dig it. I was super pumped when we. Uh, when we read about this and saw this because, well, this is something that is truly up my alley. Love jalapenos, love cheese sauce. I love tahini, chili lime seasoning. Mm. Yikes. I didn't get a Frito in on this bite. Get, get it, but scoop it in there, scoop it in there. I don't, you can do it. kind of hard. Don't tip it too much. It's hard, I'll get the next bite with okay. it. I'll get the all next right, bite. All right, all right, I just went side. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Honestly, I think uh, corn. Throw some corn in there. Make it an elote. Mm. You know, Rhino, I'm going to steal a quote from you. It really is a tale of two cities when it comes to these bites because some of them, I'm like looking at it, I'm getting the uh, definitely the, the garlic sauce with it. Mm -hmm. And. And that's the elevating flavor, even like over top of the cheese and the jalapenos and everything. But then when you get a, a piece with the chili lime seasoning on it, and like a lot of chili lime, like that just dominates it all. But I love chili lime seasoning, so it works for me. I'm gonna, I'm taking one more bite. Yeah, here. go ahead. Now get in there. I need oh, this. And that. There's so much topping too. And the fact that they went back to the old corn dog nuggets too. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just so many wins here. Mm. It's got a nice lingering spice. This is so unhealthy, but it is so good. Mm. Honestly, I'm loving it. But we're going to finish up our food around here. Then we'll wrap up our final thoughts. All right, we are done with our hot dog and corn dogs. Um, I think I liked the corn dogs a little bit more than the hot dog, but I thought both were good. Yeah, I'm going to actually lean with you a little bit on this one right now, but I don't know if it's the fairest assessment. The only reason I say that is because when two men share such a small, small dog there, I, I don't feel like... I don't feel like I got enough of it. It was basically two bites and done. Whereas the corn dogs, you know, because there was what eight, nine corn dog nuggets in there. Yeah, there I, was there was a there was enough that I I think I had four or five. And yeah, you had you had a bunch too, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I had a bunch, and so I feel like I had enough time to to really get a hold of the flavors. I thought that was actually because of how messy and how heavy it was. I feel like that dish was perfect yep. for a sharing opportunity. Whereas if we would have went with the foot long, I don't know. I might have had a different story on this one. I might have might have been leaning more towards the hot dog. Well, we could have Lady and the Tramp to foot long, but alas, she was too small for us. She was. This time. The hot dog was too small, but I did love the peppers on there. I'm a, did, I'm yeah. a huge fan of peppers. Yeah. So that really took it to the next level for me. I, I think they're both good. You know, of course, we never know how long these are going to stick around. The, the hot dog, I think it started two weeks ago, so it's probably gonna be gone in the next 
week or two. I'll assume it's the hot dog of August. Yeah, and same thing goes for the the loaded. Those might stick around a little while longer, but... I kind of hope they do. I hope that becomes like a normal thing. I enjoyed it. I, I like that elote, like, turn to... I was, I, you know, I said it in the video. I think corn would have yeah. been a nice addition in there, yeah. but... The one thing with the, the nuggets, I just hope that they don't get lazy and they're like, well, we'll take the toppings from the hot diggity dog of the month and put them on the, yeah. the corn dog nuggets and do like they already have. Like, you can do that to your french fries and stuff. So I hope they keep the corn dog nuggets unique from what the dogs are. Yeah. And that's that's my hope. But I think they're both uh, something you, if you have the opportunity to get out and try these ever, please do so. It yeah. is delicious. Yes, yes, yeah. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, remember, leave some comments down below. We'll check out whatever food items you want us to because, you know, that's, that's what gets us here. The food. And you, obviously. So, um, so that'll do it for this time. We'll see you next time with another video. Bye, everybody.